All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mahavakar Kodash. Honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe. Just coming back at you with another quick hit. Lord, willingness to be edifying. You are gods of the other nations, our idols. All right? All this esoteric, so called new age, whatever you want to call it, it's so rubbish. It all goes back to idols. All right? One true power, and his name is Powers, and their name are Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Right? Because other people, all these other nations, what did they, what did they delight in? The ancient occult practices, which is nothing but they go all back to Babylon and these so called ancient mystery schools. What we deal with is the knowledge of the scriptures. That's what we deal with, right? And these are unclean spirits that are work that these people are working with. Unclean spirits, whether you want to call it juju, black magic, Hinduism, Buddhism. That's all unclean spirits because it's all demons they bow down to, whether they know it or not. You're going to get a lot of people that get offended. Oh, he's talking about my idol. So flip him what? All right. Let's go to um, Psalms 96. Okay. Oh, sing unto the Lord. You have a way you have a shout. A new song. Sing unto the Lord. You have a shout. All the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. So that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. And his name is you have a way you have a shout. Declare his glory among the heathen. The heathens are the other nations that delight in idols. That's why they're known as beasts. Right? Because they don't have a law. Okay? His wonders among the people. For the Lord Yahweh is great. Woo! Yahweh is great. What's great? Marvelous. Majestic. And greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. In other words, idols. Which are false gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. He's telling us in Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Right? And I don't mm, I don't really want to say their name because they're not worthy to be spoken of. Like you've got these, what's it, six arms idols. You know, you've got idols with Vulcan heads, eagle heads and all that. And so forth. Which you have angels which have the heads of eagles, but they're angels. But the other nations... They have idols, they're fables. These idols are not real. Right? These are unclean spirits, entities. These are demons these people are praying to. But in their minds, they believe in their they're, they're real. They're demons they're praying to. For the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Okay? He made all the heavens, everything. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, you have a shout, all you kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord, you have a shout, glory and strength. All the glory and strength belong to him. Okay, give unto the Lord, you have a shout, glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. True offerings, which I know these other nations, they have their little altars and they put little pieces of bread there for their idols and so forth. But the bread's still there. The bread don't get eat. The bread still remains there. All right, so these other nations, yes, they burn whether it's incense or offerings, food offerings to these idols. But the idols can't devour it. The idols can't see. They cannot breathe. They're idols. That's exactly what they are. Wood, stone. Okay. That's all they are. Okay. Our power is the true living power. Okay. And you're going to realize that very, 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 very soon. So when you hear about this so-called the, the new age, oh, the new age, the new age, the new age is nothing but a mix of occultic practices all mixed into one. Christianity, Buddhism, Sikhism, um, what else, what else? Uh, ze I don't know all the names, Zeroteric, whatever you call it, right? All mixed into one, a gumball pot, which is what? Unclean spirits. That's what it is. Isaiah 30, Baba Kasha. Okay. Isaiah 30. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Jehovah, that take counsel, but not of me. That cover with a covering. So our counsel is supposed to be of the scriptures. Right? That cover with a covering. So a cover is a veil, but not of my spirit. So if you're not covered by Yahweh's spirit, that means you're covered by demons. So a lot of people they hide behind demons. Right? These unclean spirits. 
but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. So these people, they're just adding sin to sin. That's why when you wake up to this truth, it's not a thing like you've woken up now and you try to add the young Pharaoh and the black unconscious community and new Warbianism. You can't mix that with the truth. Now me, do I watch, I watch particular videos on health, Dr. Dr. Sebi. I believe Dr. Sebi was a part of the so-called new Warbian community. Now, does this mean you can't watch particular videos concerning certain things? But no, you're not taking on the ideology. You're not taking on the ideology of that particular thing that you're watching. That's the difference. But you have men that come into the truth and they try to mix all these things in. And they wonder why they have a plague of the mind. Because you're taking on all these other spirits when you should be taking on the spirit of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> It's very simple to understand. Very simple to understand. Okay. The true powers is the Yahweh Abishai. Okay. And it's been proven time and time again throughout all the years. Right. All these nations that came in their idols, their sorcery. What happened to them? What happened to their sorcerers? Now, is there particular things that people can do on the left hand side that works? Hmm. Yeah. Right. But I wouldn't go there. The meditation... The yoga, that's under kundalini, you're dealing with spirits that you can't handle, unclean spirits that you can't handle. And most of the people that end up doing these so-called practices of whether it's kundalini or whatever, a lot of them, <clears throat> because they don't know what they're actually doing, and what they're practicing, a lot of them turn mentally ill. They um what they have symptoms of schizophrenia, all types of things happen to them because they were dealing with spirits that were not they were not able to take to, to handle. The safest place is these scriptures. Anything outside of these scriptures is a seducing spirit. We're going to quickly go to that Baba Kasha. All right? It may seem as light, but it's, it's, it's that dim light. All right? Because even when you look at these philosophies and so forth, have you noticed with every one of their idols, they have like a sun disc around them, right? Which is sun worship. Which is sun worship. So you need to look at all these things and realize it's ideology. Right, occult practices. Right, what's her name? Helen, I forgot her name. Satan Vlavatsky, Helen, was it Helen Vlavatsky, whatever her name is? She was a Satanist. Look at the gestures these people make, and you, you, you can catch it the gestures with their arms. They mean they mean they mean lean one hand upon their, their head. Right, these are all um occult symbols, Masonic symbols. Add us to Crowley. Right, these were all Satanists. I forgot the indi other individual's name in the bald head and that goatee. I forgot his name, Anton Beatty. These were all individuals that practiced the occult, right? And the occult, they say, Oh, it's enlightening, it's, it's, it's tapping into your, you know, your chakra and all that rubbish and the third eye and so forth. But the new age practices, Anton Beatty, I watched one of his interviews and he was talking about. Satanism. What's what's actually Satanism? It's your lower self tapping into your lower self, not higher self. Because Satan doesn't want you to feed the spirit; he wants you to feed the flesh. So these Satanists, these Masons, wherever you, the, these occultists, they're actually tapping into the their lower vibration. So how can you really ascend spiritually if you're doing that? <laughs> how can you? Because Satan requires that you tap into what the flesh and not the spirit. Your lower nature, which makes you like a beast. Now you gotta be what you. That's why you gotta be careful what you're watching, what you're following, because it's so easy to be deceived. Now, why you gotta? I always say this: Are you gonna have particular people that are in the so-called new age community that come out of that and come to the light? But from what I've seen, you have people that left Christianity. And they went straight to New Age. You have people that left New Age and they went right to another spirit, to another devil. So you have individuals that leave the New Age and they go straight to Christianity, but not the right type of form of Christianity, the scriptures. They go to the church. And now you have the New Ages that have infiltrated the churches. So nothing but just witchcraft and madness going on. And that's why you've got to learn these scriptures. That's why you have to learn these scriptures. Yahweh Shai is the only way. He's the only way. Anybody coming any other way, he's a thief, he's a robber, as it says in John 10. Any other way.
You have to come in the right way. Come on now. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11. And 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers. I hear this phrase. Light workers. A lot of these new ages, they're flipping clout chasers. How are you really suffering? The scripture says, take up thy cross. So if you're really a disciple, or if you have a shy, a believer, you would take up your cross. You'd be teaching your have a shy. Most of these new ages, they just talk about themselves. They're just clout chasers. A lot of them are witches. Or oh, if this has happened to you, or oh, they don't like you, bro, it's just clout chasing. Right? For they are such false apostles, deceitful workers. They're not really light workers. They're deceitful workers. Transforming themselves into the apostles of Mashiach. Transforming, trying to change themselves. But they hardly, most of them hardly bring out the scriptures. They just babble on. They just babble. All right? For no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Yes, Satan can do that. Right? Satan can do that. Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. Because he is an angel, but he's an angel on the left hand side. Okay? So it's easy to get caught up in that. Oh, new age. They just told me something that was happening in my life. They may, that means that, no, that doesn't mean that. They just mean they, look, demons are telling them what to do. Them demons, them unclean spirits are telling them what to do. Right? Oh, the Most High told me, God, I got a message from God. No, you didn't. Satan gave you that message. All right? Fuck out of here. For, for no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Right? So the devil is very deceitful. He can come to you in different... He can manipulate his... Um, what's the word? His appearance. He can come to you as a... What, 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 what they call it? What they call it? He can come to you in, what's that word, uh, what's it, philanthropists? He can come to you in that type of manner. Okay? But he's still the devil the Bible speaks of. Right? It's Satan. He's going to come to you. He can even come to you with scriptures. Right? How do we know that? Because when you go to Matthews 4, when Yahweh was being tempted, Satan came to him with scriptures. Matthews 4. Come on now. This is Matthew 4. And go straight to verse. Where was we? Where was we? Verse 9. Right. Excuse me just a minute. Ah, go to verse 5. When the devil taken him up into a holy city. And set him from on the pinnacle of the temple. And saith unto him. If thou be the son of the most high. Cast thyself down. For it is written. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. So the devil even quoted, Satan even quoted the scriptures to our Messiah. He said, it is written. So the devil can come onto your comment boards or whatever, quoting the scriptures. Right? And he says, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou shall dash thy foot against a stone. I believe that's in what? Psalms 91. So the devil quoted Psalms 91 because he's an angel of, he can come to you disguised as an angel of light. Right? I believe it's Psalms 91. Yeah, here it is. He quoted Psalms 91 and 12. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thy dash thy foot against a stone. So the devil quoted Psalms 91. Okay? So we went to that Baba Kasha. Now we're going to go to Wisdom of Solomon. To hell with your idols. Right? To hell with your idols. Okay? Your idols are nothing but vanity. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, right? And you're not winning, you're losing, right? A lot of these people are deceived. Yeah, we've won, you ain't won shit. The demons are telling you you've won. You ain't won anything, right? You may be getting a gift card or whatever, but you ain't won, you've lost, right? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High and could not out of the good things that are seen, know him, right? So the things which are seen, anybody with some type of level of sense would say, well, I, there has to be a, a power that, that rules all these things. That is, neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the workmaster. Who's the workmaster? Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, the heavenly father. 
he's the work master. You have a work master. You create. You may create a table, or a plate, or whatever. You're the work master of that thing. So your Havashai is a work master. But deem either fire, wind, or swift air, or the circles of the stars, or the violent water, or the lights of heaven to be gods, which govern the world. You do know you have people that um worship fire, worship elements. Worship wind, right? Is there need? Is the are these things need for? Of course, right? You need wind. You need fire. We need swift air. We need circle of stars, and it's a circle of stars, by the way. Okay, circle. So that shows you stars are circular. Okay, or violent water, the lights of heaven to be gods which govern the world. The lights don't govern the world. The stars don't govern the world. The stars are a light for night time. The moon, we're not supposed to worship the moon, right? The moon is a light for nighttime. And the moon also, that's how you know what your cycles, your weeks. That's how you get your weeks. That's how you get your months, short for what the word moon, okay? And that's how you use it. You're not supposed to bow down to these things, the constellations, okay? With those whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Well, they are beautiful, but you're not supposed to bow down to them. Let them know how much better the Lord of Rem is. It says the Lord of Rem. So you have a Lord. We have a Lord. You have a that governs the moon, the stars, the sun. For the first author of beauty have created Rem. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, right, let them understand by them. And it says the first author of beauty have created them. Who's that? Yahawashai. Okay. He created these things. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mighty he is that made Rem. Okay. So how much mighty is our power, Yahawashai, that made all these things? Okay. And the angels as well, because the angels read John 1. First there was the word, didn't it? The first there was the words. And it said, and God, God is plural, powers, the angels, they formed everything you see. For by the greatness and beauty of the creatures proportionable by the maker of them is seed. Right? So you see, you have an idea of what the Heavenly Father likes. Most of, the, most of this world is what? Water. I believe what? How much? 80% um, of this earth is covered in water, if I'm correct. Is it 80%? Uh, let's 75 just to play it cool 75 percent of this earth is water if you didn't know that right the rest is land right or let me flip that around 70 percent yeah you know what 75 percent is what earth but esau's building because he's a madman right and the rest percent is water i believe it's mostly water right because every river leads to what a sea right and every lake leads to what? A river. Right? But Esau ain't going to tell you that. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, where was I? But yet for this, they are less to be blamed for their pre-adventure. It is seeking the moral science. Well, a lot of people, they want answers, but they're doing it in the wrong way. And desirous to find him. For being confident in his works, they search him diligently. Believe their sight because the things which are beautiful that are seen. So you've got some people that they, they don't know the Heavenly Father, but they know there's some a, a higher power. How about neither are they to be pardoned for if they were able to know so much, they could aim at the world. How did they not sooner find out the Lord thereof? Like, um, what's his name? I forgot that. What's his name? David Attenborough. This guy knows about every, pretty much every animal, everything. But I, I believe he was, he's atheist. Hold on a minute. You've done all these searches, David Attenborough. Being to the depths, certain depths of the sea and being to these islands, you know, about all animals. But you still don't acknowledge there's a heavenly father. Because like, the Lord has blinded him. I believe he's atheist. How could you see all them beautiful works and still be atheist? And it says, Baba Kasha, but miserable are they, and in dead things is their hope, idols, who call them gods, which are work of men's hands. Right? Gold and silver to show art in and resemblances of beasts, animals and 
or a stone, good for nothing, it's just a stone. It's just elements you're bowing down to. The work of an ancient hand. I don't call that progressive, I call that degressive. You're bowing down to it. That's like me making, I'm making a little mud, I'm making a structure out of mud, and me bowing down to it. That's what it's like. Now a carpenter that fell of timber after he have sown down a tree, meet for a purpose, and taken off all the bark skillfully, round about and have wrought in handsomely and made a vessel that will fit for the service of man's life. Okay? And after spending refuse of his work to dress his meat, he filled himself. And taken of every refuse among which served to no use, being a crooked piece of wood, <coughs> excuse me, and full of knots, have carved it diligently when he had nothing else to do and formed it by the skill of his understanding and fashioned it to the image of a man. Or made... It like some vile beast laying it over with vermilion red colour and with paint colouring it red and covering every spot therein and when he had made a convenient room for it set it on a wall and made it fast All right with iron for he provided for it that it might not fall knowing that it was unable to help itself so obviously it ain't, it ain't a god because a god could do all things for it itself is an image that have need of help. Then make him the prayer for his goods. And that's why a lot of people get these things as well. Because they believe it brings some type of some form of prosperity. So in other words, they, these people are praying to demons. And yeah, it's true. The demons do prosper them in this world to a certain extent. Okay. And make him prayer for his goods. For his wife and children and is not ashamed to speak to that which have no life for health he called upon that which is weak for life pray to that which is dead for aid humbly perceive that which least seems to, to help for a good journey he asketh of what which cannot set a foot forward and for gaining and getting and for good success of his hands and that's why a lot of them people have them so-called buddha statues because they think it's Bringing them some wealth and prosperity. Right? Ask if ability to do of of him. That is most unable to do any thing. So what does the scripture show us? The idols, they are vain. Right? The true power is Yahweh where Yahweh shine. And these people, if they don't realise it now, they're going to realise it very, very soon. Right? All that witchcraft that you're doing, it's just going to backfire on you. Okay? Them spirits, once them spirits are done with you, they're going to leave your ass. They're going to have no use of you. Then you're going to want to top yourself. Isaiah 47. And go straight to verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments. So you got these people still doing enchantments behind closed doors. Or maybe if I put on all black, or maybe it will work. Bro, it's not going to work. Is there certain things you could do? Certain things you can manipulate? Yeah. But that only works for so long. Amid the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. If so, thou be able to profit, thou mayest prevail. So this is why you got to stay prayed up, because we have those in higher places that are trying to put spells and curses and all types of sorcery upon you. That's why you have to pray. Okay. And it says that I'll wear it in the multitude of thy counsel, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognostications, prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So Esau has his own astrologers that look into the skies, right, that deal with stars and so forth, stargazers and monthly prognosticators, these monthly witches, right, on the left hand side. But they're not going to save thee. From the destruction that's about to come. Okay. Behold they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn him. And this is going to happen in what nuclear war. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at. Nor fire to sit before it. It's, that's, it's going to be that hot. They shall be unto thee with whom thou hast laboured. Even thy merchants. The trade men. The bankers from thy youth. Thou shall wander. Everyone to his court. And none shall save thee. Right. So if they want it, they can keep what worshiping these idols, but we're going to continue to worship the heavenly father, Yahweh, our Shai. Until the next time, I hope this was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.